Hello. We're gonna be doing wild wildflower tonight, wildflower, our Indian paintbrush painting. So thanks for joining us. I'm super excited. Right now I have our brushes in front of you, so I'm just gonna go over it. This painting only needs three brushes. It is the large brush, the round brush, and then this one is our medium brush. So we'll be going through these three throughout. I'll be letting you know which one I'm using as we go. Just so you know, you'll wanna have those in hand. We're gonna start with our large brush today. So for our first step, we're just gonna be doing our background. So you can see on here, it's this gray, kind of medium gray, with a lot of variation with the white and some of these really dark spots over here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with white, a really big scoop of your white, and then just a little bit of black in there, and you just wanna kinda of tap them together. How I mix it on my palette is really just tapping because you really want those variations to still be on your brush. I'm gonna hold it up there so you can see all those colors are still really living on the brush and really kind of separated. And then you just wanna start covering the entire canvas and you can let some of that white throw through. A lot of this up here is a lot of that canvas coming through. You can also dip your brush in a little bit of water and that will help spread that around a little bit more but still keep that variety of color and those shades and tones. So as you go, you just wanna continue doing that. You wanna cover the entire canvas. And so that'll be kind of step one, what we go through. And to get a little bit more dark, so if you're getting a lot of light and you want it to be a little heavier, we do wanna stay on the lighter side of this gray. You can kind of see them matching up here. But if you want a little bit more dark or you got a little heavy with the dark and you want a little bit more light, what you can do is you can just grab a little bit of that straight color right on the brush. And I like to do it with my brush on its tilt on its side so it's vertical. And I just like to go in and kind of give it a stripe because then what you can do is you can kind of tap that color back off, grab a little bit of water and back into our original mix. And you can just, you can just blend those two things together and those colors and that variance will still stay in there. And that just helps so that you don't have to work so hard to kind of keep the balance throughout the whole time. So you're gonna continue this and fill in the entire background and then we'll come back for step two. Thanks. 